Hi, my name is Oles Gönzi from Expertise Team and today I'm going to show you how to generate a SOAP proxy for a web service in Xamarin Studio. This method works for any SOAP based web services, it doesn't matter which system provides it. In my case, I'm going to use an SAP BW SOAP web service that I created in my last tutorial. If you missed this tutorial, you can watch it here. In addition, if you want to learn more about Xamarin and Xamarin Studio, check out my colleague's post and visit the website xamarin.com. Alright, let's get started. I have already created two projects, the core and the services. For now, we are going to work on the project services. Today, our task is to generate a proxy class that can deal with the details of the web service communication such as authentication, sending request, receiving response, serializing XML and so on. Fortunately, the generation is really easy. We don't need to write any low level code, only we need to use a simple wizard tool. The generation has only one prerequisite, namely we need the SOAP based web service, more precisely we need the WSDL URL that belongs to our web service binding. As you can remember from my previous tutorial, we can easily grab our WSDL URL from the transaction SO manager. So now I'm going to copy this URL into the clipboard. As we got the URL on the clipboard, we can open up the proxy wizard tool by right clicking on the project services, then choosing the option add and at last add web reference. We get a pop-up window where we can paste our URL into an input field called web service URL. Our web service is going to be a .NET 2.0 web service. Since SAP provides simple SOAP web services by default. So let's switch the framework for this. We have to authenticate into our SAP BW system to get the metadata of our web service. So let's enter the credentials and hit OK. As you can see, we get back the header information such as the name of the web service, Z project anchor, and the two methods with their parameters, the Z get free budget and the Z get projects. If you get the same result, then we can name our proxy simply to SOAP and hit OK again. If the generation ended with success, we can build our solution by pressing the function key F8. The building was successful, so we can check the result of the generation. Under the project services, a new folder appeared called web references. Under this folder, there is a special folder called SOAP that groups the necessary objects together for our web service. In this folder, there is an XML called reference.map that contains the references for both the WSDR URL and the document. If we expand the reference.map, we arrive to the main point of the proxy. The reference.cs contains the details of the web service communication such as authentication, sending request, receiving response, serializing XML, and so on. This code is auto-generated and hard to interpret it, so instead I'm going to show you the document outline, since it's more transparent for us. This class contains all metadata about our web service, namely the ABAP dictionary object, the Z free budget, and the Z project with their fields, the function modules, the Z get free budget, and the Z get projects with their import parameters, also the export parameters represented by the response methods, and finally our function group the Z project anchor that glues these methods and data together. All right, that's it. We finished the proxy generation in Xamarin Studio. 
Now, using this proxy class and its methods, we are able to call our web service. Using the simple c -sharp language, we don't need anything else. If you have any further question or you want to share your experiences, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment and I'm going to answer it as soon as possible. That's all for today, so see you next time.